Okay, so I've added a couple small elements to the contact page. So we put these into a container box with a little border just to make it a little more interesting. We added a gallery so that you can be a little inspired while you're filling out the form. The last thing I want to show you how to do is how to add a map using Google Maps. So we're going to add a strip as usual. Get it probably a little bigger. And then in the plus sign, we're going to go to contact and forms, Google Maps, maps. The different designs, uh, we're just going to roll with the standard highways map for now. Let's stretch it out to be full width and make it a little bigger. So this is a really common way to do a map on a contact page, by the way. It would be at the end of the page, full width like this. It's, I guess it's really just a design trend. It looks great though. So now we're going to select our map and manage the locations. And we're going to roll with just one. And the address is going to be Austin, Texas. And the title is going to be Nomadic Caleb. I don't live too far from there. Please don't try to find me. Okay, and we're not going to add anything else. Maybe we're going to add a description. World's number one travel blog. One cool thing about the Google Maps feature in Wix is that you can change this little icon. So if you go to design, you can go to pin design. Let's see, what are their default? I'll just have a little star for now, I think. And then let's change the color to red. Cool. So, that's it. That's all I have to do to set up uh, custom Google Maps. All right. See you at the next video.